that was the most energy for an opener I've had in a very <laughs> long time. And I, you know what? We're here for it. We're here for it because we're in top 24 winner's side. This winner's quarterfinals starting right off with Vivi and Sean. Sean, who has been, after a rough start at uh, Vacation 100, didn't do amazing. They have since gotten second place at Fusion and are looking to keep the ball rolling. Amazing, and against we have BB, you know the classic BB. BB at Zeno, Zeno at BB. It's all the same, of course, it is a Lucario out. K9999. Yeah, I'm I'm glad that BB is more seemingly more willing to pull out the Lucario this week. If for a while it felt like they were just solo hero with a Lucario for Dill specifically. Uh, but now, you know, this car is coming out. Lucario has a lot of good stuff against some fastballers. Uh, a lot of needs of pressuring a ledge, which can be very problematic for a Falcon, not only from a recovery, but also from a uh, from a ledge trapping standpoint. And you know the movement's on deck when Vivi's on track. Absolutely, and Vivi absolutely knows when to play offensive and defensively. He's playing, jumping, or trying, trying to jump around anything Vivi tries to go for. And Vivi always has some way with his B-reverses and his fancy schmancy movement. Yeah, trying to keep it fancy and trying to keep it clean here and before Falcon gets their hands on you. I love that tomahawk from coming out from Sean. He's looking to try and pressure with some of these back airs. Another good grab on the neutral getup. It's fourth throw. Sean looking to pressure ledge with just some of these neutral airs, but not able to find the stock thanks to the trade on um, BB's own forward air from ledge. As the percents get higher, things get more and more into BB's favor, and that B reverse off the platform into the Orsphere there... will do it. There you go, Vivi at 123. Sean was at 150, not exactly the greatest percentages to be against Vivi, especially against Lucario. Yeah, you, you're very, you're in a precarious position, but yet again, Sean being that fastballer, you have to worry once you get to around 40%, like 35 to 40 is death percent right for for you right now. But Vivi got to be careful with some of this uh, aura sphere management, getting a, a couple of tosses that they really don't need. The back, the near one, the back air comes out. I know it'll close out the stock, and Vivi still gets by. And can we just talk about how Vivi is just jumping around, figuring out everything Sean is trying to do? Sean is trying to get any hit, any hit they can possibly get. And Vivi, Lucario at 157 is not a place you want to be. Gets the roll on and gets by, choosing to not be aggressive once again. Vivi just keeping things, uh, keeping things centered and trying their best. I like that little flame there. Hey, this should be dead. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I'm surprised. Wait, wait a second. Oh, okay, okay, okay. fine then. I guess Vivi was like, yeah, too much <laughs> Only by my own hand. <laughs> Overpowered, but it's like, no, we need to do this for the plot. We need to show the main character lose sometimes. They're their own worst enemy. And there we see it, Vivi trying their best to rack up some sort of damage, but also playing so patiently, not letting Sean get close and just waiting for Sean to do moves and like uh, commit to something that BB can easily punish. BB once again playing the spacing game, trying to use that stage control, giving it up too much though as we find ourselves moving between neutral and disadvantage for Sean, always giving him a chance to get back on stage, oh, wow. but just forcing a slight mismanagement and BB taking full advantage with that forward smash. We will take a look at that a little bit later. Oh, and maybe oh. take a look at this stock if Sean is able to put something together here. Another, yeah. another neutral air gets it up air. Stop at ledge. Oh, great angle. Oh, really good on Sean. Just trying to figure out everything that BB is doing. Actually getting a couple of bits. And there you go! Finally, a kill that Sean desperately needed after not being able to kill BB other than by BB himself in the first off. SDs are going to come back to fight a little bit, but BB still choosing to try and play aggro with some of these forward airs going from the rising fair into falling there kind of loop. 53% in the blink of an eye as BB once again retreats and plays this powerful neutral. One to two hit combo, and then we're dashing back. We're using Lucario's surprisingly strong ground speed to take advantage of Falcon's uh, mediocre dash and forcing them to overcommit. But once in disadvantage, that's when Falcon gets going. All of these up airs are coming out. Absolutely, and just not being able to take a breath. Sean still living that F smash. Trying to play the center, playing grounded until he made that jump. Oh, great air to air from Sean, who's looking very, who's looking poised to take the stock right now. I mean, look at this, look at this setup, look at these spacing, trying just to force out back airs. It's been the back air game for Sean, and you know what? It just keeps on working. Great empty hop once more. Just trying to force Vivi into worse and worse positions by forcing them to go backwards and backwards until they're in the corner. Sean definitely needs to take the stop quickly. Vivi, last stop, 149, Lucario, and a dash attack takes it. Definitely a double-edged sword on Vivi's part, racking up that damage, racking up that aura power, but at the same time, 
that dash attack taking it. The first game going to Sean. Yeah, just understandably long game that was going to go because of how Lucario generally plays neutral. It's a very much a dash back heavy game because he has an amazing initial dash. But when you're forcing long games and you're forcing these high percentage scenarios, you can't always rely on you can't always rely on Aura to be the savior 100% of the time, all the time, because Falcon has equally strong amount of kill power. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and Lucario, while Aura increases damage, increases knockback and you know shield damage, all of that good stuff, doesn't make your moves faster. And right. you still have to be extraordinarily careful right. against uh, a Falcon as opportunistic as Sean, as we've seen them take their time and find punishes like that. Absolutely, and Sean, you know, played BB's game. BB wanted to float around, poke around, play around with his ground speed, try to avoid as many moves as he can. But Sean, you know, not playing as as aggressive as most Captain, Fla Captain Falcon players here. Understand how BB plays, and we're definitely going to see that shine once again in game number two. It's a little bit of a PS2, but not exactly PS2 situation. Battlefield, but small. Tiny battlefield, baby battlefield. Oh, yeah, you DI'd in, which lets uh -huh. you extend onto these platforms. Another grab coming out from Vivi. Clean stuff and amazing tech on that downer, which could have been, it could have even easily been stock if Sean was looking for the right uh, follow up. By the way, after that scramble, here comes a ton of damage, and here comes back to neutral. This should be it. And wow, really good. On Sean, I love how whenever they go do their scrambles, they do their thing. It's always like back and forth, back and forth. But now Sean is finally taking the lead against BB. Yeah, just trying to do oh. exactly that. It was, fine. it was fine unless that down air came in and connected. You know, I really have been enjoying how Sean is adding dimensions to their offense mm -hmm. as the set progresses. Great recovery coming out there from BB, not trying to risk a uh, standard angle anymore. But as each interaction keeps going on, it's Sean showcasing a little bit more. Showcasing the reverse hit of up air, a little bit more downers, a little bit more lingering off stage. There's a lot of there's a lot going on for Sean's offense, and it's forcing BB into a rather linear kind of game plan. But you gotta watch that shield help. Not and anymore, because that's speaking a Speaking of aura. linear! That Falcon Kick just taking it, and BB just can't find his ground, and BB just can't do what BB normally does. The Lucario that's so feared right here in New York City is slowly not playing the game he wants to play, as we see from that counter. Yeah, just, just trying to go for something. BB does have a ton of aura to work with and gets the uh, down air one into Force Palm. Not going to close out the stock, but that aura sphere certainly will. And we're looking at a Lucario that's at this parade, you're looking at around 90% aura instead of just the normal 66, as we're seeing by the 44 damage come out immediately and another down air. Lucario may be a he may be a snowball and a comeback character wrapped into one. All of this aura is always going to be dangerous if Sean can't hold down this ledge. Yeah, and honestly, BB really thrives in situations like this. But we also can't forget that Sean has figured out how to kill BB in earlier percentages and going for that aura. Oh, oh so close into getting something. Yeah, he was looking to throw aura sphere instead of trying to follow up off of the air dodge. Uh, whether BB was thinking a roll, that's a big opportunity with, uh, gone by the wayside. Another Falcon kick in order to act as a uh, landing catch. And at 141, BB is. That's oh. a forward smash. Hey. Okay, that also works. <laughs> oh man, you know this is a relatively equal game. Uh -oh. Not gonna lie, BB oh, gets no. one combo. <laughs> BB gets one thing and oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay, and the back air takes it. Two, oh, again, shh. BB, really great job against Sean. He really figured out the BB. He understood it. He downloaded. Yeah. He got the zip file. He got the, <laughs> um, give me more computer terms. You know, he, 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 he ran falcon.exe. He ran that back. Yeah. He ran that center stage back air, and there it goes. And you know, I understand. If we could get that last stock again before, sorry about the, 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 the final stock. Yeah, here we go. This is, it's a rather simple interaction, right? But we see Vivi get that forward air and not able to get anything. So you know what? He wanted, he wanted neutral air there, but this is a tough spot for, as we're, we're getting to right before it. This is a really tough spot to be in because you have so much aura and a lot of Lucario starters are forward air to send this way, neutral air to send this way. 
Like, they're really solid starters in and of themselves, and the fact that Falcon's a fast follower opens up a lot more combo trees at this much damage. But you're caught between two minds because by just committing to this jump, by committing to the fact that you want to use Aura, you're putting yourself in a position to die. Since Lucario's frame, uh, hitboxes, they don't grow with Aura. So you have to still contest Falcon's faster, stronger hitboxes, and that back air does the trick. Honestly, when you're at situations like that, you're at 1, 2, so 3, dangerous. you're at Lucario, you want to play a little bit more confident, you want to play a little bit more, you know. Yeah, confident is the best word I can think of. Especially, that's where um, Vivi always thrives in. We see him in so many last talk, last game, last hit, last... Last game, last talk, last hit only for Vivi situation. Yeah. And he makes it back. So, honestly... Yeah, I mean, Vivi's got a, a really cool head on his shoulders. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't, like, over... They don't seem to overextend too much. And in the Smash Ultimate, jumping isn't necessarily an overextension, but what has been... What was Sean's saving grace in that game, too? Right, absolutely. Was preemptive jump-ins. Right, right.